In this tutorial, I will cover how to create complex animations involving object interactions. Um, I will be using the motion editor as my tool of choice. Uh, let's begin by uh, locking the handbag prop to the character's hand. Select both bones we want to control. Right click on the parent bone and add lock transforms to it. I will start creating a motion of her raising her left hand towards the handles of the bag, using basic tweens and some puppetering, which I explained in detail in my motion editor puppetering tutorial. I will speed up the motion, however take note of how in my workflow I constantly check how things look in different angles and check elbows and fingers in relation to the movement. Now that the animation reached the instance of the left hand grabbing onto the bag, let's add some motion to both hands. This will make the eventual switch to the left hand holding the bag more natural looking. I will add some slight deviations from the path determined by the robotic animation tweens. Now that I fixed the poses, I will select both the bag and the left hand and lock the prop to the left hand. Now that the right hand isn't influencing the prop, I will continue its motion to go into the bag using basic tweens and the smooth slider from procedural. I will leave the animation at a point where the hand appears to be grabbing onto something. I will add a prop to the scene that will be taken out of the bag. I will fit its pose in accordance to the placement of the hand as it starts reaching the phone out of the bag. By locking the prop to the right hand, we write down the prop's distance in relation to the hand. After the point of contact, I will remove the data from the motion editor to have the hand visibly influence the phone. Now I will lock the hand to the bag. After I delete the data from the motion editor, that comes before the point of contact with the hand, the phone is seemingly pulled out of the bag. Now, if I want the left hand to raise the handle of the bag facing us, we will use the earlier techniques and animate till the point of them contacting. I will uh, create some basic tweens for both the hand and the handle without locking them because the left hand is changing its ankle rotation in every frame. So from this point on, we are doing pretty much the same thing we did at the beginning of the tutorial, which is locking the bag to the hand and animating it. But this time I will add not only tweens to the right hand, but also to the position of the handbag, because I want it to twist 30, 30 degrees midair. From this point on, we are doing pretty much the same thing we did at the beginning of the tutorial which is locking the bag to the hand and animating it. Mm -hmm. 
Making this animation took me almost an hour, but I don't feel bad about that fact because I will save it and reuse it many times in future projects. It's a little slow, but that gives more room for adjustments later on. If we want to combine this with another animation, first we need to unlock all the props from the model they are parented to. Let's detach the rig from the primary model. When we lock the phone and the bag to a bone above the pelvis, all the bones below it can be influenced without disrupting the flow of the motions from earlier. This and hundreds of other animations are available on my Patreon. And as one can see, even after using the movement transposition from my other animation tutorial, none of the quality is lost.